Hey friends, it's Keezy here today, and today I'm going to show you how I restyle my Maria Garcia doll. Alright friends, so I'm going to be honest with you, I was kind of apprehensive to do this restyle um, because this doll was already controversial enough and I know a lot of people didn't really like the design. Well, maybe it was kind of half and half, but there was a noticeable amount of people that didn't too much care for her, didn't think that she was culturally accurate, and honestly, I'm not here to talk about that because it's not my place. <laughs> but you guys asked for it, you guys, you said you wanted to see the Maria Garcia restyle, so here it is. Alright, so we're going to start out this restyle in my favorite way. So I'm going to turn my tap onto the cold side and I'm just going to rinse her hair. So she didn't have a whole bunch of gel in her hair. It was actually pretty light towards the ends, but I still needed to get it out because it was a little crusty and a little dusty. <laughs> so all I did was just run her hair under some cold water. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite product, which is Dawn Dish Soap, and I'm just going to lather that through out her hair oh and by the way once the hair does soften up a little bit I do kind of break up the hair by combing it so yeah you saw that as well And once I've rinsed out all the soap, I'm going to give it a nice squeeze to get out the excess water. Okay, and as you're washing the hair, of course you're scrunching it up, you're rustling it up. So I do, after I get the hair nice and clean, I do go in with a comb and just re-detangle it. Because the next part is I'm going to turn the faucet on the hot side. I'm just going to run her hair under the faucet and then also use the comb to comb through the hair as the water runs down the hair. I don't know. Did that make sense? Okay, cool. <laughs> And then next I'm going to go in with my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Conditioner. This is my favorite conditioner because it really just coats the hair, it makes it nice, sleek, and shiny. Look at that, it does exactly what the bottle says. <laughs> And of course, I'm just going to massage that throughout the hair from root to tip just to make sure that every single strand is coated. And once I've thoroughly combed the conditioner throughout the hair, I'm going to let her hair marinate a little bit for about 30 minutes. And after that 30 minutes is up, I'm going to turn my faucet onto the cold side and rinse it out. Okay, and you know what time it is. It is time for the styling portion. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a pet brush near her face paint because I definitely scratched it. <laughs> but um, what I'm going to do is start by sectioning out her hair. So I definitely wanted to give Maria some texture. And I'll be honest, it definitely turned out to be a tighter curl pattern than I initially intended. However, it still worked out in the end. But I did want to give Maria some nice spiral waves so what i'll be doing is sectioning the hair in horizontal sections all the way up to the top of her scalp and today we'll be using the straw method i've actually done a tutorial on how to curl doll hair with straws and i did this on my g3 laguna so shameless plug yes if you would like a detailed tutorial on how to do this definitely click the card above to go check it out Thank you. 
And to any of my Mexican followers, I would like to know, what do you guys think about Maria Garcia? Is she an accurate representation or is she not? Of course, this is again only to the Mexican followers because if you're not Mexican, it's not your culture. So it doesn't really matter <laughs> what you think. But um, yeah, I would love to know you guys' thoughts and opinions of this doll in the comment section down below. And in this clip, I had no clue I was blocking what I was doing so much, so I apologize for that. Jason, all right, and this is what Maria looks like with her hair all curled up. It was super duper heavy. <laughs> and this definitely took me a couple hours to complete. Okay, and now we have to set that texture into the hair. So of course, the easiest way to do that is to do a nice little boil wash. So I'm gonna fill up my electric kettle that I got from Walmart. I'm gonna set it on the thing, let that little light go blue, and then wait for the water to get nice and hot. So I'll know the next time I do this style that I need to get a bigger bowl because her hair barely fit inside of the, the bowl. I did have to kind of periodically move her head around inside the bowl just to make sure that every straw got touched. And the best way to make sure that the curls stay is to do an ice dunk right after you do the boil wash just to fully set those curls in place. Okay, and now for the most satisfying part of the restyle, which is pulling out all of those straws. I just love the way the curls look when you first pull them out. When they're wet, you can kind of see the full structure. Some people like to wait until the hair dries to remove the curlers, but I'm way too impatient for that. So all I do is remove all the curlers, then I'll take an old t-shirt or two and dab out some of that excess water. So I like to give my curly haired girls a little bit of hold and a little bit of definition in the curls. So I'm gonna use this setting foam to kind of define some of the curls. This is when I realized that her hair was gonna be way curlier than I initially attended, but it ended up looking so good and I definitely wanna try this method out again on a different Rainbow High doll. And this is what Maria's hair looked like after all the curls were separated. I love this look and I was definitely obsessed. <laughs> Okay, and due to some movie magic, her hair is now dry, so we can move on to the styling process. I'm not gonna lie, this restyle was a slight challenge for me because, again, I am black. Hi, I'm Bakim, I'm black, I'm not Mexican. So, 
I didn't want to remove any cultural representation that was already in the doll. So what I did was go ahead and give her back her kind of braided crown. In hindsight, I wish I had made the hair a little bit less curly so that the braid crown would be more apparent. Um, it kind of gets lost in the rest of her hair, but I did give her that back because as doing some research and things like that, I did notice that the braided crown hairstyle was very common for a Dia de los Muertos hairstyles. And then after that, what I wanted to do is kind of give her a half up, half down hairstyle. I felt like I saw a lot of hairstyles like that as well. So I kind of mixed some things together. Again, I wanted to tread as lightly as possible because again, this is like a very cultural thing. And yeah, hopefully I did you guys well. If not, let me know in the comments down below. Your opinion definitely matters. <laughs> And as you can see, I was blocking the camera a lot, <laughs> didn't realize I was doing that, but I was also playing around with her hair a little bit to see if some things that I wanted to change. I didn't really like the idea of her just having kind of like a ponytail on the very top, so um, I did end up making that into kind of like a bun to make it look more fancy and more like an updo, and then also I'm just kind of defining those front tendrils in the very front of her hair. And here is where I take a rubber band and rubber band the end of that kind of half up, half down ponytail that I created. Then I'll take the tail end of the ponytail and flip it on the inside just to create kind of like a bun. Did that make any sense? I don't know, let me know. And the bun part definitely needed some tweaking and a little bit of shaping and a little bit of hairspray that I added off camera. But other than that, Maria was pretty much finished. All right, friends, and that is all for my restyle of Maria Garcia. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and your opinions. And if you enjoyed hanging out with me today, of course, give this video a big thumbs up down below. Also, if you're here, that probably means you like doll reviews and doll restyles, and that's what I do here every single week on this channel. So if you feel like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I'd also love to see you on my other platform. So on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, it is peace, love, and plastic. But that is all for me, friends. I'll see you guys later for the next video, whatever that'll be. Peace! So good.